After weeks of cross-border bombings, Hamas and Gaza have finally called it a truce. Gaza's Islamist rulers, Hamas, have announced that they have reached an agreement with Israel to end more than three weeks of violence. The deal has been mediated by Qatar as the announcement comes amid a flurry of diplomatic activity from Qatar. The Qatari envoy delivered the latest tranche of $30 million aid in Gaza before holding talks with Israeli officials in Tel Aviv. For several weeks, Gaza, under the leadership of Hamas, has launched hundreds of balloons laden with incendiary devices and explosives to southern Israel. Large tracts of farmland have been torched. Thousands of Israeli civilians have lived on the edge. Meanwhile, Israel responded with frequent airstrikes and tank fire on what it claimed to be the Hamas military infrastructure in Gaza. Israel has also banned the fishermen from Gaza from going to sea. It has closed its goods crossing with the territory which has prompted the closure of the Palestinian Authority's sole power plant for want of fuel. Israel and Hamas have fought three wars and several smaller battles since 2007. The restrictions have pushed Gaza's economy to the brink of collapse. More than half the population has been left unemployed. An Israel and Hamas uh, agreement has been reached to ease hostilities, at least for now. It is important to understand what exactly is the Hamas-Palestinian movement. Now, Hamas is the largest Palestinian militant Islamist group that has ruled the Gaza Strip for decades. Perceptions of the group differ. Some say it's a terrorist group. Others believe it to be a gang of thugs that seized the Gaza Strip at gunpoint. Originally, Hamas had a dual purpose of carrying out an armed struggle against Israel and delivering social welfare programs. Since 2005, it has also been engaged in the Palestinian political process, only to become the first Islamist group in the Arab world to win election through the ballot box. Hamas has assumed full control of Gaza in June 2007, while Hamas is sovereign in Gaza. Fatah, which is another dominant party, continues to rule the West Bank. Hamas defines itself as a Palestinian Islamic national liberation and resilience movement using Islam as its frame of reference.